toddler coward here. What you just saw was another very interesting train accident. A young boy was killed after he stepped on a hole created in the tracks by a young girl and died right there. And why is this important? Because this accident was not due to a foolish teenager stepping on a loose piece of wood, this was caused by a 28-year-old woman. Uh-huh. A woman. And I can't see her going up on the tracks to strap herself in the tiny lifeboat, rather than trying to jump out the window, a decision that may very well have saved the entire family and likely saved the child as well. However, as far as this fool at New York Times is concerned, she's totally a... Row. Row your boat. Life is but a vision. Row that boat if you must. I have already won. <laughs> You couldn't get up that hill. No. <laughs> we are. Well, I guess it's true what they say. Elves can't jump. Yeah. We are all boats to be rowed. In a way. At least that's what we tell ourselves. We aren't so different, you and I. You've done well to get this far with your boat. <laughs> Still down there. <laughs> I can't get up. I'm up here bebopping around, all cool, like having a good time upside the school. I'm a, I'm a feed. I can't get up. I'm really stuck in here. Like there's no slope that I can climb up. <laughs> and I'm up here looking. It doesn't look like there's any for a little while. <laughs> I'm following your progress up here. Can you see me up here? Mm hmm. You're doing good, keep it up. Keep it up, you're doing Don't good. Don't look down on me. I'm looking down on you. Watch out, there's the Loch Ness Monster. Oh shit. Ow. Loch Ness Monster has got to be the most fake cryptid in the world. Yeah. Did you ever look at the uh, uncropped original picture of Loch Ness Monster? Uncropped. The original one that set the world ablaze was uh, cropped. The photo was cropped. Right. And the original one, it's obvious that it's tiny. When you zoom well, out. Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't think anyone... I'll show, you the, I'll show you the picture and you'll immediately lose your mind when you see the uncropped one. I don't think anyone saw the uncropped one, though. Well, I, I, Just, well, hey, you know hey, get over is, here. Right? You're going the wrong way. I'm trying. I'm going, I'm going across the bridge. See? Oh, shit. I know where you are. Ow, yeah. ow. What is it? One hit kill. Holy shit. Are you dead? Yeah. Okay, so, where are you spawning? A, a mage dead? killed me. Oh, my God. I went to the deck. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, you know how it is, like, the sensationalist original claim goes halfway around the world before the boring, normal truth of it leaves the port. Right, right. Right? Yeah. And, uh, the uncropped image of Loch Ness Monster, that original photograph everybody knows of, the uncropped one, it's just so obviously fake. It's just really sad and disappointing. But I wouldn't look at it unless you wanted to be disappointed. Okay, just, just post it. The original looks fake enough. I know what, how it was made. So the magic is already gone. <laughs> oh god. There it is. There's Loch Ness Monster's big ginormous head. Oh no. That's what started the whole thing. So it's really is it's one of the top fakes of the world in terms of cryptids in my opinion. Really like it's kinda it's kinda debunked. Man. That's, that's you didn't think bad. you'd get any more disappointed, but you found that last little extra bit of disappointment you didn't know you had. Uh -huh. Well, I was kind of half expecting to see land, but you can... Well, actually, you yeah, can... Yeah, the waves. You can't it's see the... the yeah. waves there. You can yeah. see that it's, like, not... <laughs> it looks about, maybe, like... The size of your forearm, or less. 
Hold on. I'm gonna try to get the original size going here. The way it was reported. Oh man, that's really small. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can see, look, the print photo is so zoomed in, it looks like it could be huge, right? Like, you can't see the waves for yeah. comparison. Okay, that's that's roughly where it was. Um, huh. It's all torn up, too. I mean, I don't know why it wasn't destroyed immediately after it was cropped, but, uh... It's just one of those things where people wanted it to be real so bad, right? That they yeah. just kind of... Just allowed it to a flight of fancy, if you will, mm -hmm. which uh, you know is the one measly distraction some people have in their lives. Yeah. You know. All right, I'm on my way. Where are you? Um, in Saran again. Just he heading straight north from there. Okay. Oh my God, I'm on top of the world. I'm king of the world. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's okay, I guess. How would you feel about just letting them, like, let him do his thing and, and just going on? Yeah, let's do this. He sounds like a Metroid. Yeah. Hey, he sounds like a Metroid. He kind of reminds me of like a Queen Metroid, too. God. Or whatever they say. Yeah. I can't remember exactly, but. Oh, lava pool. Hmm. <laughs> Steam forest. You would be a fool not to have little turbines over there running all the time. I know. It's just steam coming out of the ground. It's so easy. Well, just the lava pool right here is free energy. It is. You could just, just sitting there, ready to go. You could just slap a boiler right on top of that. Yes, you could. Little, little bit of a hassle going on with these animals following us. That's fine. I'll what finish. If I touch this lava. I'll finish them off with my final attack. Come on in. The lava's good. Is it? <laughs> it is. What the hell? Mm. It's good lava. Ah, yes, the lab was nice today. It's positive Come lab. Come on in. <laughs> Friendly lab. <laughs> ah. Some mornings where I wake up in the winter and I really don't want to go do what I have to do and I love turning up the shower so it's boiling hot. Sometimes I wish I could just get in lava. Oh yeah, my, my super knife just... Exposed to them. I used to turn up the shower stupidly hot before going to school. Oh god. It shouldn't even be possible to withstand the heat. <laughs> you think so, sometimes. Yeah. I did that with a bath <laughs> once. I forgot to add enough, uh... Oh, great for here. Forgot to add enough, uh, cold water and, um, just dealt with it. Did you ever, like, have a bath and be so tired that you couldn't get out of it and you just stayed in it? <laughs> Until the water was freezing cold. What was that? Stay in a bath until the water's freezing. Like, hours and hours and hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've done it before. So tired. Just... Couldn't get out of the bath. <laughs> I'm in water. I'm fine. I don't care if it's freezing. I, I had to drop a courtesy high. This guy's <laughs> okay. Couldn't leave this guy hanging. G rape fruit. I wonder, does he like rapeseed oil? It likes grapeseed oil. Rapeseed. Rapeseed oil. Remember that? Yeah. Rapeseed. 
thinking of, and learning about that in school and thinking that's kind of a strange name for a seed. Hmm. It's, just, it's just rape. Rape seed? It's, oh, it's cool. purified rape. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like it. Is, is that okay? Oh, um... oh, here comes friggin' Yoshi. In the way. I got a level up. Yay. Oh my god. Think about the meat we're wasting here. Where are you going? Think about this. He has he has no <laughs> meat on him. What? If he had meat, we'd be able to take it. But there's no meat. Oh my god, he's just bones. He's like a little horseshoe crab. He's just bone. I guess so. He's alive when there's no meat in him. It's just kind of bone. He's so efficient, he doesn't need any. Mm -hmm. Like an ancient, ancient horseshoe crab that's been evolutionarily unchanged for millions of years. Yeah. It's just like how Nords are, it turns out. Nords yeah. don't have meat on their bones. That's right. But what seems like soft skin is actually a carapace of, like, silica. Mm -hmm. That's why you cast fire on them and they turn to glass. Yeah. There should be a show like Star Trek that's uh, got all these like far out races, um, but then they're humans yeah. and they're actually the weirdest. Like they eat with yeah, phot I photosynthesis this... and all that. Yeah, I had this idea before for creating alien races where um. They make humans look like the aliens. Like, like okay, every alien, say in Star Trek, a lot of aliens are just a human with makeup on, right? But wouldn't it be cool if you had aliens that made it look like the humans had makeup on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like an alien that doesn't have a nose. Or uh, an alien that doesn't have ears. Or it just looks, it makes the human look complex. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. You never really see it because it's kind of hard to do. Uh huh. Just like jeer and like dudes. Yeah, just simplify it and then make it. It makes the humans look complicated, which kind of subverts it. Mm -hmm. Wink wink. <sighs> That's why I wish there was just. How come we can't just, in this day and age, get a normal Star Trek cartoon? And actually takes advantage of this, the fact that it's a cartoon to make really strange things. I don't know. You don't want to bother. You'd have to... you think it... You'd have to be willing to bother get, making a good cartoon, first of all. And that's... We're still a long way from there. <laughs> yeah. I've made Star Trek comics and uh, everyone's an alien. Oh yeah, that's right. Why not? Yeah. I like the guy in particular that looks like a, uh... Looks like some kind of barnacle. Just like a snake with a pointy beak in the front of him. Yeah, uh, that's the pilot. That's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, of course. Oh no. Look at this bed. There's nothing on this oh, bed. Oh, this is a Dwemer bed. Oh, oh this my is... god, the dwarfs, they sleep on steel bars. <laughs> that's Damn, why they're hardcore. Hardcore. That, That's hardcore, yeah. It's like, a, it's like Dwarf Fortress. They could just live in filth forever, and they won't... They'll take years to actually get mad. Look at all this Dwemer shit that's still running, even though it's probably been unattended for thousands of years. Oh, yeah. That's efficient. Think of how good the bearings must be in this. Mm -hmm. To keep going this long without anyone looking at it. It must be so perfectly balanced, bearings-wise, in order to do that. Yeah. And to maintain the inertia of its spin, right? Without eventually slowing down.
they were the only people smart enough to actually just like look at these pools of lava and, and think, let's just, you know, stick a boiler there. Yeah. Oh, here. Can you bar this for me? <laughs> there, thanks for barring it. Got some up. Oh, what's that do? I don't know. Is there another one? Yeah, there's a there's more. Let's oh shit! Oh shit, I'm on fire. Trap? Ow. Oh my god, wait a minute, did you just have like a little steam burn from this? Oh, uh, it was more than little. <laughs> Yeah, you're burned on the inside from steam. God. You got subdermal burns, probably. At least don't like potions here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to sneak this. Why one. would they? Can't be that smart ow, if they're ow, designing ow, a, a valve okay. that just turn this valve and it just immediately explodes into steam. Yeah, yeah, they can't be that smart. Alright, well... What's the purpose of this? We, we've got a design flaw here, I think. <laughs> These two gears are meshed, but they don't seem to be doing anything here. Uh -huh. They don't seem to actually... They just go into the wall, I guess, so I don't know what they're for. Just like a, I don't know, some kind of a management thing, some high level management thing, who knows. Oh, it's red back here, what's back here? Ooh. Oh look, there's where we're getting the friggin' uh, steam. I guess these pipes go down into the friggin' lava and the, like, uh, the downcomers are on the left or something and the uprisers are on the right and it's heats up the water and they take the sweet water and go into those boilers with uh -huh. And there are runes printed on the pipes just like in real life. Yeah, it's that means something if you're a short person. Uh -huh. It's all Greek to me. Oh no, they they probably just say like domestic heat water or something. Oh, I gotta. What happens if one of these, if one of these pipes breaks? How do you fix it without dying? <laughs> uh, they just use magic for everything, I think. Oh, so this is Magitech. This is cheating, is it? Yeah, it's just cheating. That's why everything's so badly made. And there are bunk beds right next to the friggin' uh, generator. Imagine sleeping here. You know how hot this would be here? This would be like over like 100 Celsius in here over time because there's nowhere for the air to go. Oh yeah. Like you'd boil it up. No ventilation either. That's just magic too. They just generate air. No, maybe they just like heat. <laughs> Damn. Let's get that nice warm Dwemer air in here. Must smell good down here. Like, there could be one room where just a bunch of gas settled and we just die when we go in there. Oh, here's a guy. Huh? What are you guys doing? Let's hear it. Oh, God, I hate... I hate yeah. these NPCs that are in interesting locations, but they just don't do anything. Yeah, these guys don't have anything to say. I can ask this guy about the Mages Guild. What's, what's the point in that? What are you doing in ancient ruins? It's like... You'd think somebody hanging out in ancient ruins would have, like... Would be glad to say something about that. Why is it purple in here? What is this? Oh yeah. Is this a telescope? I think it is. It's a telescope with nowhere to look in. 
Well, yeah, where do you go? Where, where's the seat? <laughs> I think you have to stand on that cog and then, like, walk with it as it turns. Just be careful. What are they doing looking at the stars? Like, what do they, what do they want to know? How much more magic can we fit in this building? Before there's too much magic. And we hit total magic saturation and we suffocate. From the mana in the air. The ether. Oh, we can sleep here. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, even down here. Really? Really? You shitheads? Even down here? Uh. Even down the deepest, dankest Dwemer hole, we were found. Trying to sleep. Trying to catch a sleep like he wouldn't notice. There's another iron spider dagger, if you want it. Well, I don't know, I'm dead, so... <laughs> well, we, we got another super killer death fucker uh, dagger, so... Why is it always daggers? I don't know. Because these guys have them. These assassin dudes. <laughs> these freaking speedsters have the daggers. I'm gonna roam around a bit more, because I think there must be something interesting here. Big ol' Magitech Trooper down there. Or Kefka Palazzo. He's got Magitech on the inside. Go this way. Son of a submariner. Uh oh. Dead man. Anis bit me. Same as this is reported to you. Sphere Centurion is here, too. Diamond, holy shit. Oh my god, a diamond. We're 250. Dwarf and more hammer. Some dwarf weapons, that's great. Is it good? Um, oh, yeah, uh, one to thirty nine chop damage. One to thirty nine, that's quite a bit of a discrepancy. <laughs> yeah, I know, but hey, whatever pays the bills, I suppose, whatever floats your boat. your bread. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Whatever gets the ketchup on the fries, eh? Hey. Hey. 
Hey yo. Mayo. One of these houses had a ghost in it. Fighting a ghost here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, just open the door and there's just a ghost and there's like NPCs around it. It's kind of weird. It's their pet. Yeah. This is Casper. This guy has a note that says um, he 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 wants to find the uh, the machinery in the lower floors, but he can't figure out how to get there. If only the secret of pass wall were not lost nearly a generation ago, with a few of those precious scrolls. Huh. Pass wall. That sounds oh, wow. that sounds like something. That sounds like no clip. Yeah, I know. The secret of Passwall. That's what they called it back then. Oh my god, that's so ancient. Today we call it Noclip. 